The holiday season is quickly approaching and we're going to talk about a strategy today that has saved us from cheating multiple times and we're going to talk about what happened when we did not utilize the strategy during the holiday season. And if you're new here, my name is Emily and this is my twin sister Sarah and we've lost a total of 160 pounds following a ketogenic lifestyle. Sarah and I have been off and on keto so many times over the past 20 years and the holiday season was definitely a trigger that led to month-long if not longer binges where we would gain back everything that we lost and more. So Sarah and I would be good for a couple of weeks or a couple of months and then the second Thanksgiving rolled around mm -hmm. we would binge all of Thanksgiving weekend because there's so many leftovers and so many temptations. And then we would say, well, Christmas is only a month away. So why don't we just start again in the new year? There is a long time between Thanksgiving and New Year's, if you didn't know. <laughs> and so giving yourself a pass to go wild um, for the holiday season can lead to a significant weight gain, which we have done. In fact, I believe that back in 2019, when we first started recording again for this channel, Sarah and I gained about 15 pounds over the course of about five days. I remember we came in and weighed in and we were shocked at how much we had gained from a simple cheat meal that turned into a week. And imagine what would have happened if we had let that go on for a month. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we have triggers like everybody else does during the holiday season. It's all based around nostalgia with the holiday season. My mother makes amazing stuffing for Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's the only time she makes it. And she makes about trays. <laughs> Love several it. trays of it and it wasn't until we realized that most of this want was coming from like this nostalgia yeah. we anticipated that we were going to want it and therefore we were powerless against it so how are we going to say no to this thing that we've been waiting for for 11 months we couldn't say no right and it wasn't until we figured out that if we take away some of that i don't want to call it drive because i'm like a predator for stuffing yeah. by going in with the strategy of if I really want it, I can have it. And then eating before you have it, you take away a lot of that temptation, right? So what Sarah and I typically do now is that if we are going somewhere, anywhere that we do not control the food, we eat before we go. We call this throwing it down the gullet. Throwing it down the gullet can be something like having a meal, a keto friendly meal before you leave your house or on the way to where you're going, going to the McDonald's drive-thru and getting a couple double cheeseburgers without the bun and just literally eating it. Don't think too much about it. And you will be amazed at the amount of control that you have. This takes some foresight and planning though. Mm -hmm. But in the back of your mind, you're like, if I really want that thing, I can have it. Which can save you mentally in this scenario because I know how it feels to be constantly thinking about these temptations and thinking that you are going to ruin your fun because you, you can't have right. One. So with this type of mentality, you go in thinking, if I am powerless against it, so be it. I'll just worry about that when I get there. And you eat before you go. This is game changing advice. If you eat before you go, and then once you get there, you have to eat everything that's keto first. And before you guys say it, there is always something keto there. But there isn't? No, but there is. But there is. There always, always is. There's always a protein. And there's always a side salad or a vegetable option at most of these parties. For example, I went to a party, they had nachos that had like a protein on it, which was pulled pork. I ate the pulled pork first. I ate a sausage. <laughs> I had my whole plate of just meat and I ate that first before I even considered cheating. Right. And if you do end up really wanting the thing, imagine your aunt make something once a year and you have a lot of memories eating it. I know personally for me, my aunt used to make spinacopia. Yes. And I never have it normally and she would make it and I was powerless before this tray. Not many other people had it, but I did. <laughs> I would have five pieces of this yeah, and I would feel terrible after it. And that's the other thing that we wanted to talk about. When you're thinking about these parties, these gatherings, these fun times that you're going to have and how you have in the past, you don't consider that if you've been on keto for six months or four months that you've changed, right? Your body has literally changed. You are now burning a different fuel source. Your gut biome has changed. Everything has changed. Take that into consideration before you load up on the thing that you have not done because right. there's a good chance that you are going to feel absolutely terrible. Two years ago, I went over to my mom's house and I did not utilize this strategy and I ate a bunch of stuffing 
walked right past the turkey, walked right past everything I could have. About 30 minutes after, it was Christmas, I felt like Sigourney Weaver in the scene in Alien. When the alien is eating its way out from the inside. <laughs> I have never experienced anything like that. It totally ruined my fun at this thing because I was just sitting on the couch holding my stomach mm -hmm. in pain. It wasn't even that I felt mildly uncomfortable. It, it felt like that. So if I had just followed this strategy, there's a good chance I might have had a couple tablespoons of stuffing or something like that, mm -hmm. but it would not have been the horror that it was. And so that's the other thing you have to consider. If you go into the situation, the party, the whatever, with the idea that you could have it, but then prepare yourself as much as you can, you will mitigate most of the damage that you do. So this seems like common sense, right? It's not though. It's not common sense because I would know I have not done it most of the time. I've only done it recently and found success with it. So if you utilize this strategy, you may have a little bit of a slip up anyway, but you have mitigated most of the damage. So we're going to talk about what to do after you've cheated. But before we do, that brings us to today's sponsor, Element. Today we're drinking raspberry salt. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. Element is formulated to help everyone with their electrolyte needs, especially those on a ketogenic diet. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. If you're new to keto, a lot of people suffer from something called the keto flu, which is fatigue, weakness, headaches, and it's basically an electrolyte imbalance. When you go into ketosis, you shed a lot of water. In this water are your electrolytes, and that's why you get the keto flu, because your electrolytes are not in balance anymore. Element replenishes your electrolytes, which will make you feel better when you're on keto. We are so happy that Element continues to support our channel by sponsoring videos. It really does mean a lot to us. And it means a lot to us that so many of you guys have actually signed up to get your sample pack from Element. So they are continuing this offer. For a limited time, our Keto Twins community can get a sample pack from Element of all their flavors. All you have to do is pay for shipping. You can click the link in the description and get your sample pack today. So you've utilized the strategy. And so say you had a slice of Granny's apple pie. Sounds delicious, right? And you're feeling okay, but you mostly ate keto. What do you do now? This is the most important time because now you can either go down this road or that road. And one road leads to binge eating for the next couple months. You must go back on keto the next day. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Seriously though, it's really hard because you're like, I've ruined it, right? Thanksgiving is on like the worst day ever, Thursday. Why not just start again on Monday? Right, but you can gain like a lot of weight, <laughs> really. If you are going to take leftovers home, yeah. make sure that they are only keto-friendly leftovers. That's hard. Yeah. If you indulge, let it live there. Don't bring it into the into future. The future. Yeah. Exactly, now you're already thinking about, I'm gonna have to eat all these leftovers. And then, oh, well, I'm too lazy to cook, so I'm just gonna start on Monday. And now it's next year. You blink and now it's in 2000, we're in 2023. Two. What year are we in? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> the, the main thing about this is if you go in it with this mentality, nothing is ruined for you because you still give yourself the possibility that you can enjoy nostalgic foods. Unfortunately, that's the reality of the situation is that we do kind of connect these two things as in eating, eating together. And if you are able to have the strategy of eating before you go and allowing your brain the chance to say, if I really want that, I can have it. I'm not going to be like limiting myself mm -hmm. totally. Then you can enjoy both worlds because mentally you will be able to enjoy the nostalgia of it, but you won't suffer as much as if you go into the situation knowing that you're going to go off the deep end or not preparing for it at all. Does that make sense? Yes. I feel like this is probably common sense to people that do not have like a binging or disorder like we did in right. the past. My friend, one of our best friends, she is like this. She'll be like, she'll indulge and then she'll be like, I want a wedge salad the next day. This was something that we never did. And we would always look at her like, how do you have the control like that? But a lot of people that are able to control or maintain their weight think like this. And that's the key that you're missing when you are binging is that you need to rein it in very quickly after you do it. You can indulge, but you gotta get back on immediately.
Well, that's what a binge is, right? It's right. just a complete loss of control. That's why by implementing eating before you go, eating very simply, just eating something, you take away some of that binge because you literally can't fit food down yeah. there after a certain point. I know. That you lay the foundation of keto-friendly things down there. And there's a, probably only a little bit room left for things that you are like need to indulge on. And this is not just the holiday season. This is on your birthday. This is when you're going to meet your friends for a dinner party. This can be utilized at any time where you don't feel like you're going to have control of the situation. You take control by eating first. Always eat first. Even when you go grocery shopping, yes, eat same. first. Don't give yourself the chance to be emotionally manipulated by food. You can be excited about the holidays. You can make keto friendly cookies and bake all these things. But when the food is not under your control, that's the tough part. And if you do not get in line mentally, you can turn one day of binging into a week, into a month, and into months away. And then you were back where you started from. And if you enjoyed this content, please like this video and subscribe. We would love to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And if you guys are planning out your menus already, getting ready for the holiday season, we made a sweet potato casserole. It's actually a faux sweet potato casserole made from half butternut squash and half cauliflower puree. It was really good. Yeah, it was really delicious. So check out that recipe and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are the Keto, Keto Twins signing out. out.